Hello. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to post that we are live on all social media channels. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody, welcome to our very first Welcome to our very first episode on YouTube So I'm just using style to wait for other people to join I just sent out a notification on Instagram and Facebook that we are live So welcome everybody, welcome, thank you so much <sighs> It has been a busy day indeed Hello everybody, hope you're doing fine, we like to make you happy, hope you're feeling, really feeling, hope you're feeling fine. And if you're in Lagos, how did you enjoy the rain? <laughs> Can I start now? <laughs> so... Let's just wait for a little more people to join. My people are telling me I should still hold on. I should still hold on. <laughs> so I'm holding on. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Hey, thank you so much. Just a moment. Okay, so we can get started now. I can secondly close this to YouTube again. <laughs> can I start? Okay, let's get started for today. Father, we bless you, we thank you, we give you the glory for today. We thank you for everyone who has joined, taking time uh, out of their busy schedule and things to do, and they joined this.
Father, I ask that you give them a godly reward from you in Jesus' name. Thank you for the meal we're about to do. We ask that everything will flow from you and your healing power will go out to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So today, as I said, I will be making a sweet potato mash. If you know me, you know very well I don't like sweet potatoes. Whenever I buy it, that's how I'll keep it, keep it, keep it at home till it spoils. So there was this particular day, I was just looking at the sweet potato. I said, and this thing should not spoil again. No, I've just been wasting food. And I now said, this must not waste. So I decided to cook it that day. While it was boiling, I was like, how, which other way can I use it? And I decided to mash it and add a few things to it. And by the time I tasted it, it was so delicious. And I used it to make waffles. And I also love the waffles. Today, I will not be making waffles, but I'll be doing mashed potatoes. It is amazing. So to get started, I already have my potatoes peeled. And diced here. I diced it so that it will cook fast so that I'll not waste too much of your time. This is sweet potato, so I have my pot here. I'm going to cook it plain. I will not be adding salt or anything to it yet. I'm going to cook it plain and I'll just put it to the side here on this burner and let it be cooking out of the way. So for now. That is it for the sweet potatoes. Next, I will start with my chicken sauce so that it will also be ready on time. So, in here, I have an empty fry pan. To this, I will add a little bit of oil. You can feel free to use any type of healthy oil you have. I'm using olive oil for this. So I just want something small to coat the bottom. You don't need plenty. And then let it heat up. Heat up, heat up, heat up. While that is heating up, I'm going to get ready uh, my rosemary. I want the rosemary to kind of roast inside. To, to this, I will add one teaspoon of rosemary that's one teaspoon if you don't have rosemary feel free to use thyme you can use thyme you can use oregano basically any herbal spice you have i just decided to use rosemary today i use any of the thyme oregano basil parsley feel free they will all be delicious so i'm going to let that heat up getting hot and at this point I'm going to add my chicken this is boneless chicken breast boneless chicken breast and I simply diced it up so if you like bony chicken you can use that it won't be as easy to eat but it will still be delicious Okay, now I will sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. I'm using sea salt. And also a little bit of black pepper. You can use regular cayenne pepper, that is atagungu. Feel free to use that. So I just kind of like want it to put every bit of the chicken. <laughs> That's me. You don't have to do that. And yes, yeah, so we're going to let that fry for a bit before we start adding other things. While that is going on, I have my little tiny food processor here. Tiny processor. <laughs> so 
I'm using two habanero pepper, one red, one yellow. I don't want it too spicy. These babies are really spicy, so I'm just going to use two. And I'll just put that and chop it. I like this because it saves my hands from pepper. <laughs> Are you saying that? So it's good for things like small onions, small pepper, small garlic, ginger. It will just help you chop it into small, small pieces. Without having to bring out big pepper. Okay, put that aside. So let me stir my chicken. So that the other side can fry also you can cut your chicken as tiny or as big or chunky as you want it's really up to you just do it in a way that they are at least almost uniform i know mine is not perfectly uniform but at least they will they will cook at the same rate So I'm going to leave that to continue frying and that's all we're waiting for then I'll add a little bit more uh, things Pause. So I'm just kind of cleaning my cooktop as I'm cooking so that I will not make too much of a mess. So, for everyone just joining in now, we are making a chicken sauce. We are making mashed potatoes with chicken sauce. Okay. At this point, I'm going to start adding a few other things. This is the minced pepper that I just roughly chopped. It's more of the flavor that I want. So I'll just scrape as much as I can inside. Let me get my small spatula to help with that. Okay. So it's going to give it a delicious flavor and aroma. You see, I did not put too much. We don't want too much of that. Then I'm also going to add this is garlic, ginger, and onion paste garlic ginger and onion paste to that i'm going to add two tablespoons two tablespoons of garlic ginger and onion So let's wait while it fries a bit. I just want it to fry and let the liquid evaporate. Then I'm going to add the veggies to it. Some of you will say now that the chicken is more than the veggies. Yes. <laughs> yes, they are more. smelly mm, delicious <laughs> delicious delicious ah 
Uh, let me see if anybody has any questions. No, no questions yet. Okay. Also, I just want to say, you don't have to use chicken for this if you don't want. Yes, I know it's chicken sauce, but you can simply make your own fish sauce or beef sauce or goat meat sauce or shrimp sauce. Feel free to use anything. Of course, you have to make adjustments with the cooking time depending on what you're using. For like beef, you need a slightly longer cooking time. For things like fish and shrimps, you use less cooking time so just factor that in but you can basically use any protein as we say in nigeria <laughs> any protein you want also let's say you want the chicken quite dark in color you let it fry you let it fry in the oil before you add any other thing but i'm not particular about the uh, color being dark so that's why I just left it like that. It's okay if it's right. You know, if you fry it, the color will get darker. So, just that. Keep that in mind. Thank you to everyone who is just joining us. You've not missed much. And because it's on YouTube, you can always go back over it again easily. <coughs> While that is cooking, I, told, I promise I'll show you a way to make this healthier. Let me show you what it is. Here, I have oyster mushroom. This is grinded oyster mushroom powder. Dry oyster mushroom. I grinded it. And this, this is what I will be adding to it, you know. My people, they'll say, ah, they don't like mushrooms, they don't like mushrooms. I find a way to sneak it in because it's so healthy. So I'll add two tablespoons of this, and this is going to like give it a deep color. But oyster mushroom doesn't thicken so much. So I'm going to add a little bit of acha. For those, that's another healthy ingredient. For those of you who don't know, Acha is phonio. They call it hungry man rice. It's very cheap and affordable all over Nigeria. We grow it a lot. We produce it. So this is just the powder. It's simply acha that was grinded into powder. So let me just pour that into it. You see I'm using only half a tablespoon. Acha thickens a lot. So I prefer to start with half a tablespoon and I can add more as needed. So when you're using it, just start. And instead of using water to mix this up, if you have milk or something, your choice of plant milk or, or cow milk, feel free to use it. I'm going to be using water because I'll actually be using coconut milk to mash the sweet potatoes. So to this, I'm going to add a, te a teaspoon of the Holy Spirit Spice. The Holy Spirit Spice recipe is on this, my YouTube account channel. You can watch it at any time and make it yourself or you can buy there are some people who buy it and to this i'm also going to add a teaspoon of white pepper this is white pepper you can get white pepper cones and simply grind it up yourself it's available in the market so that's what that's all i'll be adding and just whisk that together to mix with the water and set it aside okay my chicken <coughs> is already done to this i'm going to add carrots i'm using carrots because i found i had small carrots at home and i don't want to waste it then red bell peppers green bell pepper yellow bell pepper you see why we said this sorry this is a veggie sauce look at the colors 
This is what is called eat your colors. Eat your colors. Everything doesn't have to be green, green, green every time. I mean, we have many popping colors. Let me taste this. Hmm. It's going to need a little bit more salt. Let me add a tiny pinch to this and a tiny pinch to my thickener. Okay. I also had a little bit of a uh, cabbage left over, so I diced it up. This is not something I would add normally, but since I have it, I don't want it to waste. I'm going to add it. Ah, and my pan is already full. <laughs> So let's just leave it for a little bit and let me quickly check my sweet potatoes how they are doing you know sweet potato cooks very fast it's already mashing up since I want to mash this let me leave it to still soften a bit more oh you need to smell this the peppers are really releasing their own goodness right now yes look at that because we don't want the peppers too soft at this point i'm going to add this to it You can make this as thick or as liquidy as you want and this is something that goes very well with rice, with pasta, with yam, potatoes, in whatever form, whatever way you want it, it's perfect. So I'll just close it up and let it finish very quick, then let me get to my potatoes. Let me just reduce the fire and I'm going to pour out the water. Now I'm putting it back on fire because I want to drain out all the water. I don't want it to burn but I just want to drain out uh, all the water to dry up so that my potatoes will really be fluffy you can omit this step this is just me it's just to drain out the water so that any remaining water will be dried out that's it finish you see how fast that was now it's best to mash it while it's still very hot this is my masher Let's say you have a, a press, a, a, a ricer, you can use that. But I don't have a ricer, so I'm just going to use this mine. Press, press. <laughs> okay. Mash, 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 mash. You see how easily that is mashing? That's how soft it is. Now, I am now going to introduce some things to it that will elevate the taste tremendously. 
Butter, butter, butter makes everything better. Look at that, and because it's hot, it will just melt right inside. And then, this is where I introduce this is coconut cream. I made it myself. I always make my coconut milk, no buying. Please help me open it. I overlocked it. <laughs> I was so scared of it pouring. Seriously. <laughs> she opened it in one. So, I'm going to be putting this inside. You can see that is so creamy. Let me set this aside. that coconut and butter goodness so this is simply how to make your mashed potatoes let me add a little bit more I keep forgetting to use my napkin Okay, so depending on how thick you want it or how what is that term I always use liquidy even though I know that is wrong English or how liquidy you want it that is entirely up to you feel free and this is amazing for babies too I used to do this for my son when he was a baby though as at that time, what I used to mash it with was a uh, breast milk. I used to mash it with breast milk and then add a little bit of seafood for him. And he loved it. But I never tasted it. <laughs> so, that is your mashed potatoes. See how perfect that is. Back to our chicken. That is about ready. Let me test. Oh, that is amazing. Off, it is ready also. Can you see how fast that was? Ready? And let's say you want to cook rice, you just have cooked your rice and everything. The sauce is so fast, and you can make plenty and keep in bulk in the freezer you can just put in small small portions now especially now that school is resuming again these are little things just make sure if it's for your younger children dice the chicken to be smaller than what i have here but you can simply cook it if there are people who do not like uh, vegetables what you can do when you when you dice the chicken and fry it the veggies you can simply blend it and add it to it it will give a difference texture but it will still be delicious and everything but it's good to encourage your children to eat veggies and all that you can simply use the same veggies i used and just blend it or dice it even tinier than this use it for their rice their yam their plantain their potatoes and things like that everything doesn't have to be stew or fried egg every time so uh this is the potato 
let me plate it for you because a lot of people will be wondering how to eat this. This is the way me I like eating it. Just create space in the middle. You can do it like this. You see that? And then It's really delicious, as in you need to try to understand what I'm talking about. I know many of us don't eat uh, mashed potatoes, but please try this. Perfect, quick, fast, no long story, and very healthy and delicious. If you, as I told you, if you don't have mushroom powder, you can thicken it with whatever you have. You, in fact, you can use plantain flour to, think, uh, to thicken it. You can use plantain flour. You can use... You can even use a lubo. I use a lubo to take it. You can imagine. I, I don't restrict myself to just one thing. Anything you have available, kokoyam, anything, it's just to thicken it and to add extra nutrients. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, let me see if I have any questions. No, Acha is not the same as couscous. Acha is for new. It's different. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll see you again next week, 12 noon, on YouTube for Healing Recipes with Lagos Housewife. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for what you helped us to do. As we go into the new week, we go with your mercy. We go with your help. We go with your protection in Jesus' name. We ask that you preserve and provide for each and every one of us. That as we implement these new things we learn, we will continue to reap a good reward in our health. Thank you, Father. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you and your families and loved ones. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next week.